to another steel mace flow tutorial. I'm Coach Kristen and I have the pleasure and honor of being a steel mace flow coach and educator. If you're interested in learning more about the art of steel mace flow, please reach out as I offer virtual training classes um, and personal sessions to get you started on your steel mace journey. Today's flow is going to start with a single arm drop in 360. I'm going to catch that mace halfway up. I actually like to catch it slightly higher than halfway up because we're going to be doing a ghost flip and we need to have kind of a short, depending on how long your arms are. So we're going to go outside mill, scoop. Now this is where that short mace is going to come in handy because it's going to travel all the way around in our ghost flip into another outside mill. So if my hand is too far down the mace, I won't have clearance. So once more, outside mill, scoop to ghost flip into another outside mill. From here, I'm going to scoop and let my hand slide right to the globe. And then I'm going to go into a step four arrow. From the step four arrow, I'm going to drive the globe down to bottoms up back, pivot out of my step four, do a behind the back transfer. Now I'm going to pivot in through the opposite side into a step four arrow on the other side. From here, I'm gonna go into a drop in 360 again. I'm gonna catch that mace pinky to glow, and I'm gonna go invert the mace. I'm gonna go like I'm doing an outside sword swing, but I'm gonna send that outside sword swing into a halo around my head. So again, outside sword swing to halo. Once it gets around here, I'm gonna coin flip my hand. So you need to kind of use the momentum of that halo to redirect your hand. So once more, outside sword swing, halo, coin flip. So now I'm thumb to globe. As soon as I've done that coin flip, I'm gonna pivot back out again, driving the mace down through cross guard and fold it into a sword cradle facing the back. Now I'm just gonna take my free hand, reach around and open the mace up. So I've opened that palm up so that the mace can swivel and finish pivoting to the side in a under overhand grip landmark one rotated. Now I'm gonna switch blade the tail of the mace. So I switch a blade, so I'm in sword up position now, catch the tail into a tall active uppercut. Then I'm going to sword draw, staying rotated. I'm gonna step back as I joust my mace, outside wrist roll, coin flip, and then I just pass it through cross guard and I'm all set to go on the other side. So message me with any questions, tag me if you try this, and always, always flow on my friends. 